to recognize for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for yielding me time to speak on this important legislation and for the work your committee has been doing uh, to support vibrant salmon runs as well as protect low-cost, renewable, clean energy. Leading scientists and federal agencies, Northwest states, sovereign tribes, and notably the Obama administration crafted what is known as the 2014 Biological Opinion on how the Columbia River Federal Hydropower System should operate. The BIOP, as it's called, uh, was developed with the utmost standards of integrity and transparency, and importantly, collaboration. Uh, conservative Republicans and the Obama administration got together and used the best available science. Under this plan's implementation, we've seen several years of record or near record returns of adult salmon. The plan is working. So why are we here today? Unfortunately, in 2016, a U.S. Uh, district judge rejected the 2014 BIOP and ordered the federal agencies start the process over with a requirement that they look at breaching the Four Snake River dams. Here's the reality, folks. If we were to, I, 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 I can't express how important these, these, this hydro system is for the entire Northwest. I've heard you couldn't match the energy produced by these dams with six or more coal-fired power plants. None of us want to return to that. More recently, that same judge who issued uh, uh, the, the order issued a mandated spill over the Columbia and Snake River dams. Now, spill occurs when water and young migrating salmon are shot over the dams. Spill is like medicine. The right dosage uh, can help you, but too much can harm or even kill you. The same is true for salmon. The judge's ruling lacks scientific backing as Federal fishery scientists believe these spill mandates will provide little or no benefit to juvenile salmon or returning adult salmon. And as we've seen, these actions are not only in blatant contradiction to the best available science, they're also a direct attack on ratepayers, the families and small businesses, and the local economies who depend on affordable, clean, reliable energy. Ratepayers in our region uh, spend almost up to a billion dollars a year when all said and done on protecting these wild runs through science-backed spill that already takes place and other mitigation efforts. But abusive litigation robs hundreds of millions of dollars per year of hard-earned tax money from the pockets of my constituents. The price tag on the judge's spill mandates an est uh, the est are estimated to be an additional $40 million taken from ratepayers this year. So now we find ourselves here today needing to pass H.R. 3144 for the sake of salmon runs, for the sake of our ratepayers, and for the sake of the environment. Again, this is not a partisan bill. In fact, it's bipartisan, and it represents restoring the Obama administration-led collaborative plan to responsibly manage our salmon populations and hydroelectric infrastructure. A couple more seconds. Gentlemen, recognized for an additional 30 seconds. The exact same opponents of this bill who claim it would, quote, gut protections, I repeat, the exact same groups, ask the court to keep the 2014 buy-up in place. So basically, before they opposed it, the bill's opponents asked to do exactly what our bill does. So scientists, federal agencies of and yes, at one time, even the bill's opponents have said that the agencies should operate under the 2014 BIOP while a new plan is developed. This is a vote for listed salmon because it keeps current measures in place and we know that they're working. This is a vote for the region's economy and it avoids wasting millions of dollars. And this is a vote for the environment because we cannot match the clean, renewable energy produced by our hydro system. I urge a yes.